so on other sheep is going to instruct us to speak in English language on Holy Eid Milad and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Hope you all are well. By the grace of Almighty, I am doing also good. Alhamdulillah. Thanks for having me. This is Sumeer Rukhi from the sign of Urbanukul Islamia Ali Madrasha. Today, I'm going to speak something about the birth anniversary of our Prophet Nabi. Eid Milad Nabi is celebrated in the members of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet was born on the 12th day of Rabiul Awwal, which is the third month of Muslim year. Eid Milad Nabi is both a time to reject and a time to more accept. The Prophet passed away on the same day. The tradition of the celebrating the Holy Prophet's birthday on a larger scale began in Egypt by the Prophet descendants through his daughter Fatima Yallahu Ta'ala and the years are false out, distributed sweets, and particularly honey, the Prophet's favorite. Although the day has a great significance and also very special place in Muslim Umar's heart. So we will make sure to speak about Eid al Nabi. Thanks everyone. Thanks for listening to me peacefully. Assalamu alaikum. For giving this memorable speech on Eid al Adha Nabi, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Now, I would like to invite to deliver on his speech on Eid al Adha Nabi, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Jubaida Anwari, Class Eight, Rule Number One. She will deliver on his speech in English language. Peace be upon the Holy Prophet Muhammad 
the last and final messenger of humility is emancipation, who is our only guide in his life and the hereafter. Honorable President of the Faction, organized by Unity Superior Guru Dr. Islami Ali Madrasa, on the occasion of celebration of Bila Nabi Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Special gifts by respected teachers and his students and sisters of this madrasa to all my salam. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I stand before you to say something about the Milad al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So now I tell you about the historical background of Milad al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Well, Milad al Nabi, also known as Mawlid al Nabi, is the first table to commemorate the birth anniversary of the Holy Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It is celebrated on the 12th of Rabi Allah. From the point of view of Muslim these days, it marks the most important in the history of that world. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the of the prophets and the perfect man to whom the Holy Quran was revealed, the best exemplar and the greatest benefactor of mankind. He is a person for whom Allah Azza wa Jalla proclaimed dinner in the Surah al -Azab. The Almighty Allah says that, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Inna allaha wa malaikatahu yusalluna ala al-Nabi Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allah sends down his honors, blessing mercy on the Prophet and also his blessings and also his blessings constantly include his and all believers also include Allah's blessings on him and salutation of peace the second part is celebration of Milad al Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The extent of festivities on this occasion is restricted because of the fact that the same day marks its date anniversary. On this occasion, therefore, public meetings are held in the mosques where religious leaders make speeches on different aspects of the life of this great man. The stories of the Prophet's birth, childhood, youth, and adult life and character, teaching, sufferings, forgiveness, even his most bitter enemies, and his fortitude in the face of the general opposition, leadership in battles, bribery, wisdom, praisings, and his final triumph through God's mercy over the heart of the people are narrated in detail. Muhammad Wasallam was the greatest man in the world, and he is the best example for kindness and mercy. He owned the hearts of all our with his kindness and love. And that in word, the Almighty Allah says that in the Surah Al Anbiya, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, wa ma arsalnaka illa rahmatan lil alamin. We have sent you as a mercy to the entire world. He never hesitated to forgive even his own enemies. For example, digging an amnesty to all enemies bearing the conquest of Mecca which was a great surprise at the time. That for every Muslim, there has a good title of the life of this prophet. As if the Almighty Allah says that, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا لِمَنْ كَانَ يَرْجُ اللَّهَ وَالْيَوْمَ الْآخِرَةَ وَزَكَرَ اللَّهَ كَسِيرًا So we should take the prophet's life as the only model for our life and also follow his life perfectly and truly. So thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.